What's cracking, everybody? New video. Now, we gotta start this video with a question. Does Houston have a problem? So, <clears throat> me being uh, as old as I am, right? And anyone my generation or even I'd say 10 years younger than me. And even probably more than that, actually. When we think of Houston, those of us not from Texas, not from Houston especially, when we think of Houston, when we think of Texas and who runs that place, who do we think? Jay Prince, right? <clears throat> Jay Prince has done the work. Jay Prince has put in the work in every sense of that word. He's built himself a legacy. <clears throat> he's earned himself a reputation the hard way. And he's maintained that reputation. So, you know, today was, uh, I saw another, another podcast, another channel, should have wrote it down. I apologize. I think it's called Hood Educated, right? And um, because of what I saw in that video he put out 10 days ago, I just saw it today. I wanted to make this video. And because I think what he put out, I want to put out to you guys. And you guys can go and check it out. He's got way more details. His, his channel's got a lot of good stuff. But the thing is this. Like I was just saying, we've all known about Jay Prince. We've all known about rap a lot. We've all known, we've all heard about the 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 apparent stranglehold that uh, Jay Prince has had on not just Houston, but Texas, right? And the respect he's earned and gained and earned and maintained. But now um, you got, um, you got a youngster questioning What's going on? Sauce Walker, right? And he's bringing up some good points, man. And, you know, Jay Prince, I don't know if it's his thing or if it's son's, his, his uh, son's thing called Mob Ties, the little crew they got out there. But Sauce Walker is really upset about the, the death of Takeoff. And people are starting to question, why are people, when they go to Houston, why when they go to Texas, but especially Houston, why are they checking in with the Mob Ties crews when Jay Prince, everything he's done, all the all the respect that he's earned, his sons haven't earned that. They're trying to live off of their father. You know, if you go check out that that podcast, he he says, I don't know if this is true or not, but it's believable that Jay Prince's two sons, Jay, uh, Jay Prince Jr. and I guess Jazz Prince, they uh, they knew, never grew up in the hood that um, Jay Prince is from. They actually went to private schools, allegedly, um, and they had an extremely different type of uh, upbringing than the people that they're trying to say they can protect if they come and check in with them. And these people, apparently a lot of people have come and shown their respect to the Prince family and their, their little crew and wound up robbed or dead. And so Saswaka and the TSF, what is it? The uh, TSF crew that he's got, they're basically saying, you know, look at what you get when you fuck with that family. They are not the father, the sons, you know, they think it's a game roll with us we could protect you we'll take care of you they said straight out houston took a l with the with the death of takeoff that basically they let it happen and they've let a lot of things happen and there's no repercussions um so what does this become does it become where people start shunning the prince family and going to Saswaka and his crew and Saswaka becoming the new kingpin of Houston? Is that what it is? Is it going to be that simple? Or does it become um, 
Mob Ties versus Sauce Walker and his crew? If so, uh, I don't see uh, anything good coming out of this for Jay Prince. Imagine that. You know, I talked about that earlier on uh, yesterday on the video uh, I did with Gunner, how it's unfortunate that everything that could potentially happen because of Takeoff's death and any beef that could now occur between the Prince family and Saswaka, the only one that's really going to take a, a loss is going to be Jay Prince. Imagine all the hard work he did. Keeping the feds off him, keeping the informants off him, uh, moving in silence, and then he's got his two sons creating enemies in his own backyard. Um, I don't think that, I mean, even if Jay Prince was to say, you know what, I'm going to just retire from the bullshit that, the, that his kids take, take the business, and, and he moved to a damn island that he can own, and it don't matter. That's the bad thing about the feds. You know, they have a long, long memory. And I'm sure they don't like seeing um, the success that Jay Prince has had. And um, I'm sure they're actually, and it's an unfortunate thing, I'm sure they're they're salivating at the the thought that there could be a bunch of hardcore dudes that are gonna start maybe killing each other off. And at the end of it, it would rid the community of killers, but it would also give the feds the trophy that they've been wanting out there in Houston, which would be Jay Prince. Um, his sons ain't built like him. So, you know, the, I'm sure the feds, the tactic they would use if there's not gonna be any shooting behind all this stuff would be to go after his two sons, um, you know. Playing the game is one thing. Actually living the life and growing up that way and understanding by being tested, going through the fires, being hardened through the fire, that's that's completely separate than um, picking up game from your dad. You know, being told this is how you do things. It's easy when things are going your way, but you know, people like J. Prince Jr. and Jazz, uh, you know, they start feeling some real pressure on them from the streets as well as the feds. Do they buckle? Unfortunately, we might find out soon. And, you know, um, believe that I'll be watching. And not, not you know, the main reason why is because it, I, it would be a damn shame to see J. Prince fall because of his sons, the foolishness of his sons. Maybe they should retire. Pop stays in charge and the sons take off. They go to Hawaii for the rest of their lives and, you know, continue living off the, the, the hard work of their father. But they do it in the safety of that island, Hawaii. So I'll go ahead. I uh, let you guys go. Um, if you like the video, make sure you like it, uh, comment, share, subscribe, all that. Remember, I'm struggling through this uh, shadow ban or whatever the hell is going on. And the only way I get out of it is through your help. By the way, I almost forgot. Tonight, we made it past 33,000 subscribers. Thank you guys, all the new subscribers, thank you, all the day ones, thank you, everybody that's come along the way, thank you, my soul section, thank you. Let's continue to grow, and let's show through the support of each other um, how much this channel can mean to some people, a lot of people, 33,000 plus to be exact right now, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and bring this to a close. Get at me in the comments. Let me know other videos, other topics you would like me to touch on. And um, thank you for watching the Thirsty Thursday episode. And um, we're going to continue to do that um, every Thursday. That's our plan. You guys got ideas? Put them in the comments. With that, be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them. I'm out.